Welcome to Patterns Explained, the series that dives into the magical aspects of my Light From Lantern knitting patterns. In this video, I'll be explaining my Traveler's Talisman. It is this rectangular shawl that features three colors and a variety of stitch patterns. I originally designed this pattern due to necessity as I realized I had a lot of traveling coming up in the Mercury retrograde season, which is traditionally not the best of time to be traveling. However, sometimes you have to just embrace it. So I wanted to knit something to wear that would offer me invisibility to avoid the travel delays and other stereotypical things that come with retrograde season, while also capturing luck to turn the tables in my favor. To achieve this, I utilized both stitch and color magic. First was color magic. By choosing colors that I associate with invisibility and luck, that further charges up the fabric with those intentions. To attract luck, I chose green, pretty straightforward. But to represent invisibility, I chose two shades of gray. And it was important to incorporate two shades because while I wanted to be invisible to bad luck, I did not want to be so invisible that I was forgotten altogether. So it's the light gray that represents invisibility from bad luck, while the darker gray allows me to still be seen during important situations. Once I chose the colors, it was time to move on to stitch magic. By choosing stitch patterns that represent the same qualities of invisibility and luck, this further strengthens the magic of the shawl. And since I would want my project to start with a bit of good luck, that is also how I started the design. So I chose garter stitch to represent the lucky breaks that I wanted to come my way during my journey. Stockinette stitch is a stitch that is pretty easy and we're all familiar with, which is why I chose it to represent smooth sailing during your trip. And what's part of a smooth trip? Not being forgotten which is why I made it in the dark gray, which allows you to get noticed during important events. Of course, as a traveler, one of the best things that you can do is embrace the process. Thanks to my father for teaching me that lesson early on. So I included sections of linen stitch, which are alternating knits and pearls in what I call a dodge and dance pattern. It's a reminder to stay flexible and be ready to adapt to a new plan. This section was knit in the light gray to help the wearer dodge and dance through crowds with ease. This is especially helpful if you're running to your gate. And finally, right in the center, I have a focal point with a singular purpose. This lace section was designed to act like a net. By knitting this section in the lighter gray, which represents invisibility, it is programming this net to let the bad opportunities or misaligned opportunities to slip through unnoticed, thereby catching the good luck. So there you have it, my traveler's talisman explained. I hope this video series inspires you to add some magical intention into your next knitting project. And if you'd like to knit your own Traveler's Talisman, you can find the pattern on Ravelry and linked in the description. What pattern of mine would you like to see explained in a future video? Leave a comment to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and merry make.